Hello YouTube world, pretend farmer here. Not a real farmer, just pretending. You know, we got a couple roosters here on the pretend farm. And as you may know, roosters sometimes don't play nice together. We're gonna talk about how you keep roosters together so that you don't end up with a bloody mess and different challenges that come with that, different problems that might come with that. Let's get into it. Meet Bucky. He's my Salmon Favreau rooster that I've had about nine months now. But as you may know, when you have a rooster and roosters do what roosters do, your eggs are gonna get fertilized. And then when you've got a broody hen and they do what they do, you get chicks that hatch. And when you hatch chicks, about half of them are gonna be pullets. The other half are gonna be cockerels. So you'll end up with probably multiple roosters at some point if you're planning on hatching eggs. Now this chicken here, this, this cockerel that's on his way to becoming a mature rooster, he's the one I call Colonel Sanders. And I got him back in end of July. He's about two and a half months old right now. Bucky here is a almost two year old rooster. So he is fully matured. He's grown as much as he's going to grow unless he continues to get fatter, which he's working on. But he's fully mature rooster and he's kind of the boss of the flock. Colonel Sanders here, as he gets older, he is probably going to start to want to challenge Bucky for authority because eventually he's going to want to gather his little cluster of hens and he's going to want to have his own hens that he can take care of. He's going to have his that he's always taken care of. We're expecting a little bit of conflict on the pretend farm between these two guys until they get it worked out. Uh, as you can see right now, everything's good. Getting along just fine. Uh, mainly because his hormones have not kicked in yet for Colonel Sanders. And he's not trying to steal Bucky's women yet. But I have noticed them sparring with each other on occasion. As you can tell there, he was kind of getting the side eye. You know, these are both, the Buff Warpingtons and the Salmon Favreaux, they're both considered very calm, docile breeds of roosters. So I think these guys will be able to live in the same habitat together and ultimately not really fight that much. I mean, they're backyard chickens for crying out loud. There's plenty of hens to divide up between the two of them. Enough to go around for everybody. I'm not expecting a whole lot of drama. So a couple rules you need to know about keeping multiple roosters is A, you never ever want to just buy a rooster and throw it in with your flock when you've already got an established rooster. Um, that's a recipe for a disaster, especially if they're both matured roosters. They're probably going to fight to the death. Uh, that has to be done in a very careful way. Uh, there's got to be a very lengthy, careful introduction process. And more than likely, it's still not going to work out. They're just going to fight. Uh, roosters can live together if they grow up together. So if they're brothers and they raise you raise them together, they'll be fine. Uh, especially with no hens around, roosters can continue to live together forever. Uh, there's no fighting. Now, when you throw some hens in the mix, there has to be a specific number of hens per rooster. There's a ratio there. As a rule of thumb, about eight to 10 hens per rooster is kind of the standard. That's the golden standard. Some say 12. Uh, a real aggressive rooster might need closer to 12 hens. If he's pretty chill, eight hens would probably satisfy a rooster. So for me personally, I'm planning on keeping about two roosters and I will need to have about 16 to 18 hens should be able to keep everybody happy. And that's what we're aiming for here on the pretend farm. Now, in the case of Colonel Sanders here, he was bought as a chick and raised up with the flock. So they've already established him as part of their flock by now. Uh, all the pecking order stuff for the most part, he's where he's gonna be for now. And as you can see, he just kind of moseys around with all the other chickens. Some consequences from having too many roosters and not enough hens is your hens are gonna get really tore up. Then they end up parading around in a saddle like Miss Loretta has here because Bucky rubbed her raw. 
another key is space. You want to have plenty of room so that your roosters aren't crammed in the same little tiny box together. That's going to ultimately reduce the chances of fighting. I've had some people say that in order to keep multiple roosters, they each have to have their own separate coop with their own separate flock. And there you can see the, the process take place. But no, you do not have to have two completely separate chicken houses and two separate runs for two separate roosters. You just need to make sure that you get them familiar with each other and that they establish which hens belong to who. Ultimately, what I expect to see happen here, and this is all experimental, but what I expect to see happen is Bucky has his hens that he takes care of and I think we have several young pullets here that are not even mature enough to be mounted by a rooster. So I expect since they're about the same age as Colonel Sanders here, and he's pretty close with them, as you can see, as he gets older and starts wanting to do that sort of thing, I have a feeling that's gonna be his little, his little cluster there. That's gonna be his groupies. And so they're gonna to gravitate towards him. He's gonna have probably a couple other ones that he'll maybe steal away from Bucky and they might fight a little bit over that but ultimately there is enough hens here to keep both of them happy because we have 25 chickens and with two roosters that means they've each got plenty of hens remember the rule is 8 to 10 per rooster so there will be no problems here they're both calm breeds their, their temperament is known for being friendly and we expect this to go smoothly here on the pretend farm, but we will be documenting every step of the process. And it will be very interesting to see what will happen when Colonel Sanders hits puberty. Hopefully he doesn't turn into a jerk because sometimes that happens. And with roosters, you just never know what you're gonna get. But we're hoping he ends up friendly and that everybody's gonna play nice together. This is my one and only Rhode Island Red. Boy, isn't she getting pretty. Well, at the end of the day, you can't keep every rooster you hatch. And I do have a third rooster. Meet Foghorn Leghorn. He's the white cockerel there you see in the middle. He's a mixed breed between a Salmon Favreau and a Buff Orpington. How he turned out snow white, I have no idea. But basically, he is probably going to end up being the one that I decide to put to freezer camp. We'll see, you know, if he turns out friendly and I can keep him, I will. If not, we'll eat him. Uh, his fate remains to be seen. I'm going to keep him, obviously, and grow him for a while. And we'll see how all three of these boys play together as they begin to mature and start fighting over the ladies. It's, it's bound to happen.